me tell you how blessed I was to be able, as a young coach, in my first year, to have this team and give us a chance to listen and grow and help the coach. Coaches that were in our program, but I also want to shout out was uh, Greg Scott and Jimmy Force, that were freshman coaches, Tony I. Early, who passed away, rest in peace, Tony, we love you, miss you. Jason Lopez was here. Brother Ulysses, who was my uh, assistant coach, as well as Pocketbook, Book Richardson, and Chuck Clark. So that was my staff in 20, 2003 and 2004, and I thank you guys for always supporting and helping us, because it was a grind, you know. We won the championship in the New York City Capitol League on three, and we won the city championship on every single level. What a special year. Freshman City Champion, JV City Champion, Varsity City Champion, Varsity B City Champion. First time in the history that the schools won a city title in the same season. So we have a special banner on the wall on the rafters for that year. So 2003 St. Rangers, we ran New York City basketball.
He held it down. Just 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 so, up. Man. Come inside. 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 But because we got some really special people in the building. You know, when we talk about getting to the mountaintop, these guys did it. And it was a grind. I mean, I remember I just started at St. Rick's. And just to see them go through their struggles and to see the adversity that they had to overcome. And they had to go, they had to overcome some adversity. They were good, but but they still had to overcome a lot of adversity. And a lot of the problems that we experienced with you guys, they went through it. So it's funny because it's we're watching you guys and, and some of the things that I see today, it's like it reminds me of, uh, of some of the players we had in the past who had success. Success is not easy. These guys can tell you. That's some of the toughest. That's, that's really hard to do, having success, especially early. Because it's like, how do you sustain that for an entire season? And that's why these guys are special because they were able to do it. They were able to do it. And that's what we're trying to get you guys to understand. You guys want to get to the mountaintop? Those guys have been there multiple times. But you guys want to get there? It's going to take that effort in the second half, that second half effort, every day for 32 minutes. And that's all I've been preaching these last couple of days. You guys have been frustrated. I've been frustrated with you guys. I've been really frustrated because you guys aren't playing to your potential. I get it. We traveled last night, which we, you know, we came in early this morning, and it was a long day in the morning. I get that, but you want it. You want you want to win. You got to fight through adversity. At the end of the day, there's nobody making excuses. Nobody's feeling sorry for you guys because you guys uh, had a late night and came early this morning and had to come back. Nobody's making excuses. But I will tell you this: defensively. You got after it, and that's the reason why we won. That's the only reason why we won. It was defense. And that's something I'm huge on, and I'm big on, and I'm not going to change. I'm never going to change that. It's never going to be about offense. But you guys got to commit, and you guys got to buy in. <clears throat> All that early success, I told you, don't believe the hype. It's a long season. We still got 10 more league games. That's a lot of season. But can you sustain... That same level of intensity that you guys play with in that second half for 10 games. Because if you do, you're going to be joining these guys. And that's the fucking goal. You guys want to say anything? Did you guys experience? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I say so. Uh, yes, he does. Man, listen, you guys played great in the second half. Great in the second half. I've been there. You know, I've been there. You got to grind it out. This is what this shit is about. To keep it all the way hunting with This is what this shit is about. You know what I'm saying? Going above and beyond. Diving on the floor. Grabbing that rebound. Deflections. That's how you win. That's how we went back to back. Hey, there's no slouch over here talking to you. I, I did what I had to do. To win. You know? And you guys did a great job. Let's get it in. then I got blessed. Me being here is um, it's special for me just to see y'all grind it out. Because I was one of the players who had to grind it out. I had to stay ready and just, you know, sometimes you got to fall in line to get ahead of the line. You know what I mean? It's not always score, 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 score. You know, play to your best strengths. Do what you do. If you might bring toughness, bring it to you. You play hard, you rebound. Yo, I'm going to get him open. That's what we did. 
right? So it's like before this, when we was playing, we all can score the ball. But somebody had to do something else. Mm -hmm. So we had to do the small things to get where we got. And this is a crew. Like, a lot of y'all can score the basketball. But who gonna do the other shit? The dirty work. I, I got him tonight. He's not scoring. Yo, he keep rebounding. Yo, see, but he gets no more rebounds. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it for him. <laughs> so that's how he was. Like, when I see you, like, yo, come on. Let's go. That's what we used to do. How do I go? That's, that's, that's it for him, man. His night is done. All right. <laughs> that's how he was. That's how he was. So, yeah. man, just keep your heads up. Like you said, 10 more games. Get it done. Right. Get it done. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got one thing to say. One by one, one by one. And yeah, I'm going awesome. to you. Yeah, awesome. That was a solid. So, I saw you at halftime. I tried to give you a dab, but you didn't want to give me a dab. <laughs> I said, like, yo, because you was pouting. And you know what I said? You remind me of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, that, there'll be times that... Kevin, don't pass me the ball. I'll be like, coach, sign me out. My knee hurt. I'm going pass me the ball. I was a hack. But yo, listen, I'm, I'm saying to hey, say baby, this. Go get him. I'm saying to say you. this. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was totally wrong. Because was, it, was, it, was, it was all for me. You know what I mean? I was all thinking about myself. So you got, when you get older and you get to, when you get to this level here where I'm at now, 38 years old, you're going to come back and you're going to be speaking to the other guys that are playing at the time. You know what I mean? And you're gonna realize, like, damn, I was wrong. You know? Sometimes you need that little breather. Right, let's gather my thoughts. Right, he took me out. Right, I'm come back in. I'm ready. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm coming in. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Forget about that last play. Go on to the next play. You, you gotta be a leader here. You gotta lead by example. Everyone. Y'all all gotta do it for each other, bro. We, we, us. When we play, bro, we, we trying to come at each other's necks every day. We talking shit. Oh, I'm, we're going to kill y'all tonight. We're going to kill y'all today in practice. Like, I, I ain't winning white and blue. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's right. where it starts, bro. You gotta, in practice. The, the habits got to start in practice. The game. You know what I'm saying? And then all that's going to cool into the game. Just Stay keep, ready, man. You guys are doing, I watched you guys since last year. You guys look good. You guys look good and you guys got to believe. Continue on believing and playing for one another. You know what I mean? It's bigger than it's, your name is is bigger than that. You see that, that name right there, the Ravens. We want try to win. We I'm here. I want try to fucking win bad, bad, bro. I'm talking about bad. Fuck Steph and I. Fuck them all, other <laughs> niggas. I don't care about them. Amen, it's bro. us. It's us, bro. We, we you gotta bring it back, bro. We gotta bring mm. it home. Right. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all y'all keep keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Hey coach, such such a legendary night. I was kind of late. They were B. And the score was 30 to 20. What went on beforehand? Things that I missed. You know, I just think that. You know, and I, and I really don't want to make excuses, but we had a late night last night. You know, we uh, ended up winning a game out in uh, Hoopal. And uh, we just didn't get to bed until 1 a.m. And, you know, we had to get up early this morning, get on the bus. You know, we got to eat back here at 10 o'clock, and then the kids went home, and then they had to come back. So they look a bit sluggish, a bit tired. And, um, you know, I, I, just, I was just hoping it was a matter of time that they would wake up. And uh, and they did. They responded. They responded in the second half. And, uh, again, being that we were celebrating and honoring the championship teams in 2003, 2004, there was no way we were going to lose tonight. So give these guys a lot of credit. I think it was kind of inspired. I, I was watching the, the guys' faces as you was introducing the players and, and Coach Antigua giving a speech. I saw the, your team, the present team, being a little bit inspired, and they came out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think more inspired than they did in the first half. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So, you know, especially just talking about the success that they've had. That's what we're, we're trying to achieve. You know, we're trying to get to the, to the mountaintop. Those guys have been there, you know, multiple times in many cases. And, uh, you know, for us, we're just trying to get our first one. So, you know, so it's, good. it's a good night overall. Yeah, man. Great win. Yeah, great win. Yeah, is tough, man. I, I tell everybody, you know, they're one of the toughest teams in the league, you know. 
And, um, you know, I thought Coach did a tremendous job getting his guys ready. And they came out, man. They, they punched us in the mouth. They were ready to go. Yeah. That's for sure. So, you know, but, uh, um, again, they're going to have great success in the league. And, uh, you know, wouldn't want to see them in the playoffs. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm definitely going to come back. And next time I'll be early. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Let me know. Appreciate it. Okay. You're ready? You're ready? You're ready?